So let's talk about the destination net now. This one is a little bit tricky, so let's uh, understand the requirement. So and the requirement is that from the internet, whenever they hit the public IP of my uh, Palo Alto, that is 150.1.7.50 on port number 443, I want that traffic to be forwarded to my domain controller because this is acting now as a HTTPS server. My website is over there. So if I go back to my management PC and if I say that uh, HTTPS accessible.com.au I should get my web page over here. So this is the default web page on the Microsoft which is currently up and running now. So but the thing is that um, I'm accessing from my management PC. Think that this is your application which you, the customers will be using. Think in a way that this is your business application which people or customers will be using to give the access. So you want to them to able to access this particular uh, server on port number 443 and we have to configure the uh, Palo Alto in such a way that whenever it receives the traffic for port number 443 on this particular port, it should be forwarding towards the domain controller. Now to achieve this one, so first thing is that I need to create one object address object so address object i will say that the address object will be my polo alto pa public ip and i will assign the ip address as 150.1.7.50 slash 32 all right so first i will create an object which says that which is your public ip all right next when i create the policy in the nat policy I will define by saying that the source will be outside because it's coming from the outside and destination will also be the outside because it is hitting on the outside interface of the Palo Alto so that's why the source and the destination will be the outside and whenever they hit on this particular public IP on the outside I want it to forward it to 20.1.1.2 which is my server so let's go back to the management pc and if i go back to my policies and within the net policy first and i will click on add so i will say that this one will be the destination net <laughs> original packet which will be coming from the outside and the destination will also be the outside interface one slash one service will be any destination address you see that i don't have any destination address for now so i will create one object which i said polo alto public ip and i will select here as a ip mask i will say 150.1.7.50 and click on ok so i am saying that the source will be outside destination will be outside and in the traffic will be hitting on one slash one interface and the destination address will be 150.1.7.50 translation i don't want to translate the source but i want to translate the destination to the static ip address uh, translated address will be the public address translated to port will be 443 now here we have to select create one more object that is for the domain controller which is our web server okay here i will give the ip address 20.1.1.2 click on okay it's a little bit confusing but again i will come back so original packet which is coming from outside destination will be outside destination interface is one slash one which is facing towards the internet source from the outside it is coming means the source can be anything but the destination i am hitting on the 150.1.7.50 which is my public address so once i hit on that public address what i want to do is that i want to translate the destination because they are coming and accessing my public address 150.1.7.50 on port number 443 but i want to forward that uh, traffic to the my web server domain controller web server which is 20.1.1.2 Okay, 
So let's recap one more time because it's a little bit of confusing. So that's why I'm going again and again. Next. So think that now my physical PC will be now accessing the public IP. So what we said in the NAT policy is that source is outside. Destination is also outside and the destination interface is E1 slash 1. So 1 slash 1 means it is referring to 150.1.7.50. But again, we have given destination address and this address has been mapped to the public IP address of our Palo Alto. That was the first part of the NAT policy. Now the second part of the NAT policy was we want to translate the destination translation. So the traffic is, is coming and hitting on this particular public IP. And now we are saying here this that I want to do a static NAT. So whenever it hits on the 150.1.7.50 IP address, I want to forward the traffic to 20.1.1.2, which is my domain controller, and look for the port number 443. If it is 443, then you forward it. If it is not 443, then you block it. All right, so that's what we said in the policy. Okay, so let's click on OK and go ahead and commit. Alright, so once that is been done, let's uh, I will check it from my physical PC itself from here. And if I come back to my physical PC and if I try to ping 150.1.7.50 I should be able to ping. So from my physical system I'm able to ping to the Palo Alto, that's fine. Okay, configuration is complete so let's uh, HTTPS 150.1.7.50 Traffic has been not allowed and also we need to create a new policy security policy also allowing the traffic from outside to DMZ so I will say that uh, how to DMZ so the source will be the outside destination will be also the outside because uh, outside people doesn't know that it is uh, destination is the DMZ because we are doing the NAT application will be any service URL I will keep it any for now application is allow OK so outside to outside I will also change the name to destination net. Click on OK. Commit. And also let me go to the Palo Alto and check the IP address. So let me close that one, go back to the network. Interface 1 slash 1, 150.1.7.50. Let me click on that one and make sure that the advanced ping is here. That's okay. But for some reason, I'm not able to ping from my physical system. So before it resolved for one packet and after that, I was not able to communicate. config and yes that's I have the subnet that's all good and for some reason I'm not able to ping okay let me see the commit is complete that's all good so let me try one more time and also let me see from the management PC if I'm able to go to the internet or not Yes, I'm able to go to the internet. That's all fine. So from here to here, it's okay, but here to here, it is not going. So I need to do the troubleshoot. 
Okay, so let me go back to policy and change it from outside outside to the outside to DMZ. Destination net destination will be DMZ and commit commit. So let it commit. And also, I think uh, on the policy also, I have to, because I've selected any, any, which is uh, not correct, because in the destination, destination uh, address, I have to select the destination address. I have to select my public IP, because that is what we are going to allow so any traffic coming from outside we are our destination will be dmz and uh, source is outside source can be anything that is correct and the destination is dmz and the traffic will be hitting on the public ip because the outside uh, people doesn't know and that should be good let me also commit this one. So the policy how we have written is that the source will be outside, address can be anything, but the destination will be DMZ because that's where we want to forward the traffic. But the IP address, destination address is the public address of my Palo Alto because uh, people doesn't know the private address and it is not notable. So they will be hitting on my Palo Alto public IP. That's what I have given. And traffic can be any, any for now. And I have allowed the traffic. So let me let the commit finish up. Okay, commit is done. Let me go ahead and Refresh again. Yeah, yep, see that? And now I am getting the. So it's a little bit of confusing. I also confused myself by explaining, but let me go ahead one more time, one last time. So the zone is the outside, which is coming, and uh, we want to net in such a way that it goes to the dmz web server all right so what we did in the nat policy is that first the source will be outside destination will also be outside because it is hitting on the outside interface only the outside traffic is hitting on the outside interface only and the destination address i have given my public ip as a destination address in the nat policy and in the second part of the nat policy i have said that i need to do the static uh, ip and I want it to forward it to the my domain controller on port number 443. Alright, so only 443 is allowed, port number 80 should be blocked, How we can verify that one soon. But in the policy, I said that the source will be outside and address will be any, destination will be DMZ and the address will be my public IP. That is 150.1.7.0, sorry, 50. So in the policy, I'm specifically saying that from the outside, anyone can come, but they are allowed to go to DMZ if they hit on this particular IP address. So currently the port is not blocked on the policy. So the policy will allow 443 and port 80 but we are not doing that for the port number 80 so we when we try to access on port number 80 the traffic should be blocked because we are not doing the NAT. so if i do the same thing http 150.1.7.50 you see that nothing but when i said https it says it directly forward my traffic to the my web server which is the domain controller Right, so this was your destination at. I hope this was informative for you and thank you.